Hey guys, it's time for another 75 hard tip. Just the tip. Seriously? <laughs> when it comes to starting a new diet or fitness program, I want to ask you this question. Why are you doing it? Why are you starting this new diet? Why are you starting this new fitness program? Or why are you doing both? What's your reason? If you don't have a reason and a good reason at that, you're likely to fail. And here's why. You're gonna have days that just completely suck. Something's gonna go wrong. Your emotions are gonna be out of whack. Something is gonna go wrong in your day. Whatever it could be, you're gonna have days that suck. And if you don't have a good reason for why you are doing what you are doing, guess what? You're not gonna do it because you're gonna allow those days to consume you, to overcome you instead of you overcoming that. You're gonna have days where you're not motivated. You're gonna be like, oh, you know, this one cheat meal or this, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna stay home and just kind of sit on the couch and be lazy. Like that's just that one time, it, it's not gonna hurt anything. Guess what that one time turns into? Two times, three times. And before you know it, you are out of that diet that you said you were gonna start. You're out of that fitness routine that you said you were gonna start, all because you were unmotivated that one day and decided to give in, to give in to your feelings. But you know what would help prevent that? Having a reason why. Why are you starting this diet? Why are you going to the gym? Why are you doing this? Let me be real with you. My husband and I, we go to the gym on average about four days a week. If we're not at the gym, we're working out here because we're doing uh, the 75 hard program. So we have to work out every day. Now, I, I love going to the gym. It's one of my favorite things to do. But to be honest with you, just because I love going to the gym doesn't mean I absolutely love it every single day. So, for example, today, today we were doing squats. And right now we are lifting super heavy. Y'all, I was on, we do five sets of five. And I was on my first set, second rep. And I wanted to quit right there. <laughs> I had just gotten started and my emotions were starting to take over because I didn't feel, I didn't feel like lifting heavy. I didn't feel like trying to push up all that pressure that's pushing down on me. I didn't want to do it. Jimmy would tell me, you know, Lauren, just go lighter. I could have, I could have easily done that. Could have easily given into my feelings because my body was fine. It was more mental than anything. I could have gone lighter, but I didn't want to. He likes to use the term weak sauce. And I told him, I don't want to be weak sauce today. Now, because I have a reason why I am doing what I'm doing, I'm not going to allow my lack of motivation or my feelings to take over. The main reason why a lot of us quit is it because we can't do it. It's not because we can't stick to that diet or we can't stick out, can't stick to this new fitness routine or this fitness program. The main reason why is it because our body is failing on us. That might be the case for a few people, but the majority of us, it's up here. <laughs> it's right here. Your mind will give out before your body gives out. Your body can take so much, but we don't ever push ourselves. We give up. If you have a reason why you are doing what you are doing, on days where you where everything is sucking, where you are not motivated, where your feelings are taking over, your reason will be right there with you to push you through it. And y'all, it better be a good reason. Because if it's a sucky reason, for example, here's a sucky reason, I'm just gonna be honest. If you say, oh, I wanna look like her, or I wanna look like him, I want to look like that bodybuilder. I want to look like that model. I want to look like that celebrity. It ain't going to happen. Your body is different from theirs. You are unique. Don't let your motivation be because of 
you want to look like somebody else. That's not a good motivation. You need to be the best version of you. That would be motivation. You compare yourself to you, not to anyone else. So one of my reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing is because I know that I am capable of a lot more than I've allowed myself to be or to do in the past. And I am motivated to be the best version of myself and not to look like or be like anyone else. My next reason for being on my diet and my fitness program that I'm currently on is because I don't want to end up like some of my family members. I have several family members that are on medication and a ton of it because you know their body is failing them and then they've got this medication to counteract that medication. Like I, I do not want that. I also don't want to be like some of my family members who can hardly move or they can only move if they have a cane or a walker or a wheelchair. I don't want that. Now I understand, you know, there are some people with injuries. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about having weak muscles because I didn't exercise them, because I didn't use them. I'm talking about having weak and brittle bones because I didn't take care of myself like I should have. My family members are motivating me. They are my reason why, and they don't even know it. I want to be stronger as I get older. I don't want to be weaker. So that's my second motivation. That's my second reason why. And y'all, this third reason is fairly new. <laughs> and it's because of the book, The Lone Survivor, that I have been reading, I, which I highly recommend. It is a military book. It's a true story. The author who wrote it, he was a Navy SEAL, and it's about a mission that went completely wrong, and he lost three of his... of three of his members that day. But because of the things that he said in that book, that has become my new motivation to not give up, to not give in to the, the suckiness, to not give in to how I feel. If those guys can go through hell week, and based on his description, it was hell, and then go through those missions that they had to go through. And Marcus, who's the lone survivor who survived this terrible, terrible attack. If they can do what they can do, I have no excuses. I have no excuse to say, oh, I'm just gonna sit on the couch and, and eat my chips and drink my Coke. Yeah, no, no. Y'all, I feel so strongly about it. Like I, we have this one chance on earth. <laughs> we have this one life on earth to make something of ourselves, to be somebody. I don't want to waste it sitting in front of a TV all day and just eating whatever I feel like eating and being lazy, complacent, no discipline. I want to make the best of myself. I want to make the best out of each day as best as I can and be the best version of myself and not let life overtake me, but I want to overtake it. I don't want my feelings to overtake me. I want to overtake them. I don't want circumstances to overtake me. I want to overtake them. We're going to have days that suck. You better push through them. You're going to have days you feel unmotivated. You better push through it. You better have a good reason why you are doing what you are doing. Why you were on that diet. Why are you doing this fitness program? If you do not have a good reason why, you will fail. So that is all I have for y'all for Tip Tuesday. Know your why so that you will succeed and continue to be successful throughout the rest of your life.